So today I'm talking about a P2271 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P2271 code? Well, it's an O2 sensor, signal stuck rich, bank one, sensor two. And what does this mean? Well, basically there's oxygen sensors and they're located on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter. And then the second thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And they report this information back to the computer, which then uses it to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. But when you get a P2271 code, these sensors are reporting that there's some kind of issue going on here. That bank one side of the engine is running rich, which basically means there's more gas than air going into those cylinders on bank one than should be. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And if you have a V6 or V8 engine, you're going to have two banks on the engine. If you find the number one cylinder on the engine, that's going to be the bank one side. And then the other side would be bank two. But bank one side of the engine is the side that the computer's seeing a problem with. If you have a four cylinder engine, it wouldn't matter. You'd only have one bank. And one thing to note about a P2271 code is that if the engine is running rich, that can sometimes be kind of hard to troubleshoot because it can be caused by many different things. And so keep in mind that sometimes a P2271 code can be kind of hard to troubleshoot. And so what would be some possible causes of a P2271 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is a bad oxygen sensor, mainly the bank one sensor two O2 sensor. It might have just fell and gone bad and just be reporting bad information back to the computer. There's usually two O2 sensors on each bank of the engine. Sometimes there's more, sometimes there could be like three, but usually there's two. And sensor one is gonna be located before the catalytic converter, sometimes called the upstream O2 sensor. And sensor two is gonna be located after the catalytic converter, sometimes right on it. And that's sometimes called the downstream O2 sensor. And the one the computer's seen a problem with is gonna be this bank one sensor two O2 sensor. So the first thing to do is test that sensor, be sure that it's good, be sure that there's no issues going on there, because the first thing that could cause this is a bad O2 sensor. And the next thing that could cause this is the wiring going to the O2 sensor. Basically, keep in mind that if there's any problems with the wiring going to the O2 sensor, then that could cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So be sure to keep that in mind. If those O2 sensors test good, there's no problems in the wiring going on with those or anything like that. Then the next thing that could cause this is that the engine does have a rich running condition, mainly on bank one side of the engine. And like I said before, this can be kind of difficult to troubleshoot because it can be caused by so many different things. But if this is the case, the things to look for would be like a bad injector that's dumping too much fuel on bank one side of the engine. So a bad purge valve that gets stuck open. When that happens, they start letting too much gas vapors into the engine, and that can cause a rich running condition, or the fuel pressure might be off, it might be high for some reason, or something along these lines. If you do think you've got a rich running condition, be sure to pay attention to any other codes that you might be getting. Like if you're getting a bad injector code or something like that, be sure to pay attention to that because that can help point you to what the problem is. Because the next thing that could cause this is that the engine is running rich on bank one side of the engine. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P2271 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.